Welcome to The Philanthropeneur Show, hosted by Dr. Victoria Boyd, designed to offer tips, strategies, and insights to empower nonprofits and entrepreneurs with sustainable win-win solutions. The Philanthropeneur Show is sponsored by The Philanthropeneur Foundation, building capacity through education and professional services. Well, welcome. This is Dr. Victoria Boyd, president of the Galaxy Group and editor of the Philanthropeneur Journal, and my co-host, Heidi Anderson, founder of Credit Cares and president of Electronic Commerce International. We are thrilled to bring you the Philanthropeneur Show, which airs every first and third Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We have a great guest today, and that has that has an inspirational and powerful story of launching her new initiative. We also have some great tips on creating and sustaining a social enterprise business. Whoa, some valuable stuff coming up. But Heidi, how are you doing today? Well, and actually, I'm 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 a little overwhelmed. <laughs> um, the, the good news is business is really picking up in, in our merchant services business, and 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 then our work on the foundation to foster empowerment is really ramping up. And I just feel like my head is is just kind of spinning around in circles. Um, I mean, there's so yeah, you know, there's just so much to do, and I, I want to do it all. I want to experience it all. So it's like I'm trying to figure out how to clone myself. <laughs> yeah, aren't so, we all? Aren't we all? Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure you and our guest today both know how I feel. I see that she's also creating a huge initiative on top of running her own business, and you, well, what don't you do? Let's see, <laughs> teaching nonprofit management, being on the board of the Foundation to Foster Empowerment, and now offering dance classes for mature women while publishing a magazine. <laughs> well, yeah, so, yeah, well, speaking and of I still magazine, have time left over. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you do, for, for sleep, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Speaking of the magazine, I understand the spring edition of the Full Entrepreneur Journal is currently available. Um, how can our listeners get a copy? Yes, yes. It was a little bit late coming out, but uh, we have many ways that they can get access. First, you can email me directly, and I can always send you a copy. That always works. Uh, or go to the Philanthropeneur website, and there's a tab there that says Journal Editions, and it'll take a link directly to the journal, or visit the Philanthropeneur uh, Facebook page and uh, join the community and stay up to date with the latest trends and information because we always post copies of it right there on Facebook. Uh, finally, we are also published on Issue, that's I-S-S-U-U, one of the largest digital public publishing networks out there, and so we have our own platform, and you can find us on Issue. Um, it, you know, editions of the Philanthropeneur can be found by a simple search and going to the Victoria Boyd Publication Stacks right there on issue. But we're talking too much about what we do. We need to introduce our guest for today. <laughs> I know she's been patiently waiting, waiting to say hello. This is another powerful connection that we've made through some of the groups on social media networks. And, you know, it's, it's interesting. We, we have to explore all of the friends and connections we make there because we'll find out uh, a lot of great things. We see some of the work they do, but often we don't hear about behind the scenes, who they are. And so it is exciting to have today Joanna Ashley, founder of Healing for Bodies and one of the co-founders of WIN, Women's Heart-Centered Empowerment Network. Hello, Joanna. Welcome to the show. Please let our listeners get to know you and hear more about your background and how your passion brought you to the work that you're doing today. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Victoria and Heidi, for having me today. This is I love getting these opportunities because I always feel so honored to have them happen. So thank you so very much for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, to kind of begin my story a little bit, um, I never set out to be an entrepreneur in any fashion. <laughs> my dad my dad did the um, run your own business thing majority of my life, and they would be okay for a little bit, and then they wouldn't do so great, so then we'd be on the next thing, and I swore up and down entrepreneurship was not for me. <laughs> I'll, I'll be the employee. I don't want to be the boss. Um, and what was that? I, I was just laughing at we have that same feeling. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you never expect this is where you're going to be, and then you find yourself, and it's like, whoa, how did I get here? <laughs> right, um, absolutely. 
so I was an office manager um, for a developmental disabilities agency. Um, we help clients with disabilities. And ironically enough, um, I was getting to an own, my, this own place in my life where uh, I was actually contemplating having to file for disability. Um, I was, I've always kind of been sick my whole life, um, always struggled with a lot of health issues, a lot of pain, things like that. And the doctors always looked at me like I grew two heads and that I was crazy. And <laughs> my mom and dad really didn't know what to think about any of it. And so I got married when I was 19. Um, and in the year that followed after I got married, um, everything got worse. Um, my physical pain, the symptoms, all this stuff. Time to find out, um, I had, at 20, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia and arthritis. And as far as we can tell, I've had the fibromyalgia since I was about six. Wow. And, um, yeah, it was really devastating. And it was kind of like this hallelujah moment because it was like, oh, my gosh, I'm not crazy. Because <laughs> nobody could ever figure out what was wrong. And so the easiest response was I was just a hypochondriac. Um, so to finally have a diagnosis, it was like, oh, my gosh, I'm not a crazy lady. <laughs> um, but it also came with a lot of – it was very devastating because um, – at the same time, my husband and I were dealing with infertility, and the kind of the gravity of all hit where it's like, I'm 20 years old, what life do I get to live? And uh, it was really, really um, rocked my world, um, trying to decide, where do I go from here? You know, if, if I could get pregnant, because we still couldn't, it was like, if I couldn't get pregnant, what if I do with the fibromyalgia? Am I going to be able to be a mom, you know, with the arthritis? Because the arthritis was getting bad enough that we'd go grocery shopping, and my husband had to open all the jars and, and the lids um, because if he wasn't home when I was making dinner or something, I couldn't open them. Um, okay. I couldn't play the piano hardly anymore. So it's kind of all this crazy stuff. And uh, then I met a lady um, through my sister Marie, and she introduced me to this whole new take on life. And uh, she was an energy healer, and she basically looked at me and she says, well, do you want it? And I was like, yeah, no, I don't want this. What are you thinking? And I was like, you know, I don't really have a choice in this. And she says, I didn't ask that. I said, she asked, do I, you want it? And I said, no. And she says, then I can help you. And I was, I was really skeptical that you're kind of crazy, but sure, if you think you can help me, I'm, I'm all game. So in that year, that was 2008, um, I met her in March 2008. And by the end of 2008, um, I was cured of the fibromyalgia and the arthritis, and we were expecting our daughter, Bobby Jo. Wow. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of energy healing? I'm just kind of curious. Is it was it like hands on, or is it more like just were they like Reiki or or? <laughs> it was, it was. It, I mean, we were in live. We were in like present seating sessions, um, and she, she did an accumulation of an array of modalities. Um, it wasn't all necessarily hands on. Some of it was just sitting there talking it through. Um, other times it was hands on. <clears throat> And she just used all of these different types of energy work to address the different aspects as they work through everything. And I was totally like, this is voodoo, this is crazy. This, you know, like when I first walked into her and met her, I was like, this is, this is crazy stuff. I can't do this. <laughs> um, and the, the first session we did, we actually addressed the allergies because I had allergies to everything under the sun, you name it, and I was allergic. And uh, we got done at the session. She was like, okay, over the next month, your body's going to clear all of these and you'll be good to go. And I'm like, uh huh. Sure, I will. <laughs> <laughs> and I went home and told my husband, and he's like, "Okay, whatever you say." Like that looked like, uh huh. And sure enough, by the end of that month, by the end of March, um, I was eating food that I hadn't been able to eat in years, and I was, and it wasn't affecting the fibromyalgia. I wasn't getting flare-ups, and I wasn't getting sick. Um, and I was like, "Okay, maybe there's something to this lady's craziness." So I'll go back. <laughs> So that's that's how I got into, okay, I've got to learn more about this because um, not only was it the physical stuff, but um, I had a lot of um, sexual and physical and mental abuse growing up, and um, I had a lot of fears and anxieties and phobias. I mean, I was petrified of the dark, all of this stuff. And by the end of it, all of a sudden, I was freed of all of these things that had trapped me my whole life. Like, I could actually go out at night. I could... Um, I could have to wash everyone off balance. I could actually walk in the laundry room and adjust it without having to run from the house. I mean, just crazy things that people are like, you were scared of that? And I could actually was functioning as a human for the first time, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I have to learn how to do all of this, um, especially because a lot of people in my family were very hurt and broken from a lot of things that had happened in their lives. And it was like, I have to know this because, and it's even the reason why I got into the, the philanthropy side of it was, 
how can I have this huge transformation in my life and not find a way to give this to somebody else? Because Mm -hmm. essentially for me, it felt like I have a second take on life where a year ago I was looking at filing for disability, never having children, um, and living my whole life in fear. And all of a sudden I had this new take and it was like, you have to do something with this. Um, And so I dialed head first in. I'm like, okay, I've got to learn everything. And so I started taking classes, started taking a lot of the same classes that the energy healer I was going to see did. All of these things, before I know it, I was like, okay, I guess I'm going to have to start a business. (laughs) Um, And so that, um, in 2010 is when Healing for Bodies started. And I was just content to just kind of learn energy work to anybody else taught it to me and then just try and help as many people as I could. And then I realized that there was a lot of stuff missing because I could have clients and they could come see me and I'd make them feel good for a few, but then more problems in their life would happen and then they would have to come back and see me. So I was essentially a crutch instead of being able to truly help them. And so that totally changed my focus where it was like, I have to come up with a way that I can teach people to heal their lives where I can be a guide and I can be there for them, but I can also teach them to do it for themselves because I don't want a lifelong client. I want to be able to teach and empower a person to be able to do something for themselves. And that's wonderful. So Absolutely. That, that's where it went from there. <laughs> wow. Uh, and so that and that's my whole my whole business foundation for healing for bodies. Um, I actually ended up transforming and even creating my own healing. Um, essentially, it's kind of energy healing meets life coaching meets mentoring. Um, all of it comes together in one, and it's called Mock Four Transformation Series where I take you and teach you how to walk through all these aspects of your life and heal and change them and go after and achieve what it is that you want to do. Um, and I and I built it on the foundation that I want I want every person I meet to not be powerless and not be hostage by what they do and don't have in life and in that moment be able to do something different. And so my business structure, everything that I've done going forward has been about giving people the tools so they're not enslaved to me to have to keep coming back and paying me, but that I actually give them the tools and the resources to say, oh, my gosh, I can actually do something for myself now. And so that's how Healing for Bodies came about, and that's wow. where I've taken it from there. It's, it's a great that's philosophy. Really, it, 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 it really is parallel yeah. to what Heidi's doing with her uh, empowerment tools for the uh, fosters that are transitioning out. It, I mean, it's a great alignment there. <laughs> it's Oh, that would be interesting, yeah, to, to to bring this kind of modality to those kids as well as in, you know just as part of the the whole program. But that's that's a whole nother program. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that program in the fall. When I yeah. did that was I wanted it so that it, even a child t- could do it. So I mean, even like uh-huh. my daughter, she's four and a half, and she gets hurt and she does it. Or I have my nephew, and he's ten, and kids get hurt on the playground at school, and he's using it on them. And they're like, so if they get hurt wow. now, they, they go find Devin, and they're like, Hey, Devin, can you help me? <laughs> and I mean, that's so, so, so simple brilliant. that a, a child can do it. <laughs> that's that's just over the top. I'm I'm just amazed. And what, just, that's just such an inspirational story, and, and I just I love your approach and and your energy. Um, and you know, it's, it's almost kind of like you remember the, the book, you know, the accidental uh, tourist where he was a travel writer, but he didn't really want. It's kind of like being the you could be the accidental entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of like, I, I guess we all could be really. It's kind of like I really never wanted to do this, but here I am, and you're doing it in such a fabulous way. And you know, it, it's our you know, the story that leads us in the multiple directions we, you know, we often go. And even though you have that company, you are also compelled to start a new initiative that serves women. So, you yes. know, what is the overall focus and goal of WEN in a nutshell? Um, well, basically, WEN came about, I met Carla Wynn Hall. She um, is actually the woman who founded the Women's Empowerment Network on Facebook, which is where we met. Um, and and I hired her um, for some of her services, and we started talking and get to know one another. Um, and that's when I realized that there was a lot more to this than just a business relationship. That that here we had all of these women on the Facebook group. At the time we started talking, I think we had around um, eleven thousand members, and today we're at almost nineteen thousand members, and that's since February. Mm-hmm. And um, so, you know, here we have all of these amazing women who are looking for empowerment for themselves, but to empower others. What can we do to really help them make it an impact in their life? So we started getting to know one another, and we realized that even though we've had very drastically different journeys in our life and very different paths, um, 
foundationally there was this piece of needing help, needing love, support, and encouragement that we were looking for when we were going through our respective journeys at the different times. And so then we reached out to some of the other women that we knew who were their own, own entrepreneurs in their own right or business women in their own right who had very powerful stories. And we found this underlying common factor that every one of us went through this life transformation process and all of us were needing very similar things and there was nowhere to find it. And that was that was having tools to learn, you know, you get this itch inside. You guys might have had the same experience where it's like, you know, I know I'm supposed to be doing something different in life. I don't even know where to begin. Mm-hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. You start trying, your family's looking at you like you're crazy, like why can't you just be happy with what you have? (laughs) You're like, I just, this part of me is getting eaten up, I have to do something about this. And then you don't know where to go for support, you don't know where to go for help. Um, You get discouraged and pretty quick you're back to square one and you feel like you've made no progress. And the more we talk with all these women, I don't know if that resonates with you, um, either of you, but as we talked with more women, this was all of these women who've made these beautiful transformation journeys were all looking for this something that they could go to to mm-hmm. cling to as they did this and tried to keep their head above water. I don't know if that resonates with either of you. But, absolutely, uh, completely, completely, absolutely resonates with me. <laughs> yeah. And, and you, you're speaking about all of the other women, and I'll call them the founders or the directors, yes. um, and they all, from looking at the background, because I went in and explored the site, they all own their own businesses. So uh, what, does, what makes that and what you're doing so unique and powerful? Um, well, in the, in the fact of that every one of us who, has, who is in this place of having our own business, um, none of us I really, I mean, every one of us comes from a background of, of a, a different career or job, and then essentially falling into the lap of being an entrepreneur because we started following that that inner voice that says, hey, there's something more here. And basically all of us became accidental entre- entrepreneurs. We just did what we had to do because that's where we knew we were supposed to go. And so not only is there that element of we are all in business, we all have our own our, our, our own businesses, but every one of us has been through these amazing transformational journeys. And so when we come come to our members of WIN, we're bringing all of this collective experience um, as women, but also as women in business, and then also just this place of love where it's like we understand how important it is to feel loved and supported. And so each of us as the as the founders and the directors have been through this journey of not just self-discovery, but trying to figure out how to take on this role in life as as an entrepreneur that we never even thought we were going to take on. And so Great. it gives us this very unique stance of we've we've been through a lot collectively. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And so when you talk about being heart centered, I mean it's part of the name of your organization. Um what what does I guess that's that that's what you mean by that is just bringing love to to everything or was yeah, it's it's this place of um, even in business because right now we're just launching the first level and uh, membership and win, and then in, in the coming months we're launching a second level that's focused on business, the business side of people. So those women who are either in business, have their own businesses, or looking at starting their own businesses, it's the reality that when you bring a heart-centered approach to business, even if even if your job is website design. Um, you know, because people see like heart centered around the typical fields like, oh, you're a healer, oh, you're a coach. So they can see it being in that field, but you get these really technical fields and it's like, it's all business, you have to have this total business approach. And what we're seeing, though, is that when heart centeredness is brought into each of these areas of life, all of a sudden things just flourish because um, it's safe. People are feeling that connection, they're feeling um, that that love that comes from being heart-centered when it's no longer about just the cell or it's no longer about just getting what we need from one another, but being in that place of heart-centered where we're all in this together, let's help one another. And that's what heart-centered is about is is on the level one membership where it's about your own journey and self-discovery, it's that you have women in in the same circumstance as you, women who are just ahead of you, um, women who've been there and done that. And when you come in that place of love, and that heart centeredness, it just creates this profound connection where people are like, I'm finally understood. I'm finally safe. I finally have somebody there for me. Yeah, I can completely relate to that when you talk about bringing your heart to a more technical business. My core business is credit card processing. I mean, is there anything more 
you know, <laughs> kind of cold and, and technical than that. But, you know, and that's what co- caused me that exact process to create credit cares. And my, actually, in front of my logo is a heart with the two C's on the side that's to, for credit cares um, to, you know, to, uh, to bring my heart to my business and, and make it about serving others and, 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 you know, serving nonprofits and, you know, creating a win-win relationship between the people that, that, Accept credit cards, the people who use them, and the and the the um, the community that could benefit from it. And so, it's, uh, I can completely relate to that. And I'm definitely going to just check out your organization because there are so many times when I could just really use that support. So, <laughs> well, it's awesome that that's what you've done, though, yeah. is taking that and really just embraced it. No matter. Well, just as a funny side note, I was reading an article. Well, it was probably about a year or two ago, and the guy was a collector, a debt collector. And he had one of the highest rates of debt collection out of anybody. And so they, they started investigating, trying to figure out what was it this guy was doing that was, was getting such a high return rate on debt collection. And he when he would call people, he was the nicest guy you ever met in your entire mm-hmm. life. And his whole attitude was, we've got a solution. I understand you. Life happens. And all of a sudden, all of these like solutions would come about and people could pay their debts off and it was it just laughed because it was like if you get if you're if you know I've been in that situation where I had no money and I couldn't mm-hmm. pay my bills and they're calling and they're like hey are you going to make your payment and it's like I don't have any money and if they're screaming and yelling at you on the other side of the phone it's like I can't do anything and this guy come from this place of total love and support we got this uh-huh. we can we can make a resolution and and he was thriving yeah, so it's, it's such a I mean, difference in, in the world if everybody came from that place. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> exactly. So, so, well, and on the note of, um, of of credit cards, I think we're going to take a quick um, commercial break here, and then we will be right back with more from Joanna. Hey, are you a small business owner like me who wants to make a charitable contribution? and needs easy access to charitable giving sources that you can automate for your business for free, then I invite you to visit www.credit-cares.com. They have charitable giving options using their innovative merchant platform that helps nonprofits raise money and helps merchants make contributions at no additional cost to them using the products and services of Electronic Commerce International. Our giving options are easy to set up for small business. So if you have a business entity, we can donate in your business name. Go to www.credit-cares.com and see how you can make a difference every day by doing what you already do. Go to www.credit-cares.com and fill out the form or call 855-782-2737. For more information on how your business can be a difference maker in your community. Okay, welcome back. Uh, This is now time for the Philanthropeneur Show Tip. Every show we like to offer a tidbit of news or advice for our entrepreneurs and nonprofits. And today we have three tips to establish a social enterprise from the Nonprofit Quarterly. Number one, focus on quality. And a lesson comes from Annie's Homegrown. It's uh, They produce foods and things. But make your product excellent. They do macaroni and cheese. But it's not about just doing it good. It's, it's adding stuff on top of that. And so you want to add more quality, incredible products, and lead into, which will lead into incredible loyalty from your customers. There's tons of products and extremely successful uh, things out there, but along the way, you've got to have a massive impact on the lives. Second, offer transparency. Let your customers know through an interactive tool what you're doing, the good and the bad. The choice is up to the customer to make the purchase or not, but you also have to let them know what you're really about. Be authentic have transparency. Number three is find good partners. And that's really the basis of the philanthropeneur. It's about building relationships, building partners. So a lesson is really look, looking at who can you create the co- impact with. And you can define and really help each other and benefit through both of the work you do. 
We're going to take another commercial break and be back in just a moment. The Philanthropreneur is dedicated to your success. Visit thephilanthropreneur.com to find and explore a wide range of services and resources. Register and receive benefits such as training, early bird discounts, and the Philanthropreneur Journal, a nationally distributed bi-monthly digital publication serving everything philanthropreneur, filled with tips, strategies, and resources to support your goals. Need more marketing exposure and have community impact? The Philanthropreneur is proud to offer ads for a cause where 10% of your marketing purchase goes directly to charity. Contact us today to place your ad. Increase your reach in a professional digital publication or radio spot. It's a great marketing tool to send, post, or share in a variety of formats. Deadlines are on a rolling basis, so don't miss being included in the next publication. Visit thephilanthropreneur.com and click the Journal Marketing Ads tab today. Mention this show and get a 10% discount www.thephilanthropreneur.com. Okay, welcome back. And with our special guest, Joanna Ashley, founder of Healing for Bodies and co-founder of WIN, Women's Heart-Centered Empowerment Network. You know, the Philanthropeneur is nonprofits for win-win partnerships. We also explore how one can use their passion to have impact. Your framework is not quite working with a nonprofit, but it is designed to give back. So, you know, what influenced a scholarship program uh, to give back to your members? Oh, that's a fantastic question. And and the reality is, is when we sat down to do this, um, the 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 level of membership we call it sparkle because we think of in the successive order that it's people finding their light. So level one is the sparkle membership that they're learning to sparkle and glow in their life. Um, and when we realize this is that this journey, um, you need help, you need resources for people to reach out to and help you do this um, as you go through this big transformation journey. And so when Carla and I came together. Um, we both we even laughed and then we cried because both of us have, you know, nonprofits that we would like to start one day, but we're like, you know, how can we do this right now? Um, and um, we thought about with our members, they're going to need, you know, maybe that life coach to help them finally get over the last bump or that healer that's going to help them with this area of their life. And so you're like, you know, what greater gift than can we give to give back to our members where a percentage every month goes into scholarships so that they can enlist and pay for services to help them on the transformation journey, that it's no longer about just trying to scrape by and, and get help when you can, but that every month there's an opportunity for our members to submit an application and get awarded one of the, the scholarships that, um, um, that will be offered every month to help pay for those services, to help pay for that help to get them finally on that track that they've been looking for. And so... Um, we thought, what what better place to give back than the people who are already giving to us? Oh, well, that's a fantastic so, idea. And I hope our listeners realize that even though you're a, a for-profit structure, you have totally embraced the social enterprise format or platform by creating a division where you are physically giving back to not only help the for profit side, but the members themselves. It's 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 a diff, it's it's a nice combination. It's it's a great concept. Thank you. And so so you're going, you know, you're giving back much, and you're helping women in this way. Just um, the, so the scholarship program. If somebody goes on and they apply for a scholarship and they get a scholarship, do they go then, let's say, to the, a healer that you recommend on your side, or do they go out and find one on their own? How does that? What, what do they do with that scholarship? The, the idea is, is that as we've as we've started putting one together, we've reached out to a lot of these awesome coaches and healers and mentors, all of these people that we've met, to kind of create this collective pool of people that we know do a beautiful job in their work and can create fantastic results. So with this scholarship, then they can turn around and and, and they can choose to do some go somewhere else with it. Um, but but the idea is, is that we can also give them options and say, hey, you know, if you're looking, if this is what you're wanting to use your scholarship for in this area of your life, these are some awesome coaches or healers that we know. So and you're so, also a resource for, for that, yeah. Yes, yes. So it's not like, in fact, I remember when I first, 
started my own personal journey, I cannot tell you how many hours I spent on Google because this was in 2008. And I mean, even in just the last six years, the the world is totally transformed. But I would do Google searches like energy healers, and it'd come back, and you'd get all these ski wampusy kind of funny sites, and you're like, it was life coach. Are you crazy? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and it was very daunting because you'd get to all these websites, and some people were charging $100 for their services, and some were charging $10,000 for their services, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, where do I even begin? <laughs> so it's, mm-hmm. it's cutting out that, that confusion and that overwhelm of where do I even start and saying, hey, you know, these are fantastic um, people that we found that can provide you amazing services, and we trust them. And so it gets that, that overload of where do I even start out of the way. <laughs> That's oh, really yeah. helpful. Yeah, yeah it's 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 a, you're almost creating a resource hub, and and because you've already vetted them and and, and looked at their services, you almost can give it with a, a recommendation or a referral process. That's fantastic. Yeah, and, and just the, the scholarship is so valuable. But what's what are some of the other benefits that uh, being a member of Win uh, they might see? Um, the first, the biggest one that we, when we came together and it was like, okay, because it really, we all drew from our life experiences. Like when I was going on this journey, what, what did I crave? Um, when my world was falling apart, what did I need? And, um, the first thing that we created, um, we decided was, you know, we needed that once a day daily connection that says, Hey, I love you. You're important. And that just that kitsch of inspiration on a daily basis. So part of the foundation and the membership is that you get a daily text message to your phone that just tells you, um, it might be a quote, it might just be a piece of us saying, hey, we love you, you're an amazing person, and we're so grateful you're on this journey. Just that, that little piece of a connection every day from us to each of our members to, to let them and be reminded of why it is that they're doing, because especially if you're going it alone, if you're a single mom and you're raising your kids by yourself or your family supports nothing that you're doing, there's nothing more empowering than to have somebody reach out and say, hey, I'm here for you. So that was the first uh-huh. one was a daily text message. Um, That's beautiful. Thank you. And then the other one was, you know, um, every one of us as founders has had dozens of moments where we're falling apart at 3 or 4 in the morning or at midnight and we can't fall asleep because everything that's wrong in our world is suffocating us. And we said, you know, we need an SOS hub. We need somewhere that they can go. Um, and for us, it stands for Sisterhood of Support. But somewhere that they can go that when nobody else is available, we have resources available for them to connect with and start pulling themselves back together before it gets too dark for them to do anything. And so in the Sisterhood of Support hub, um, us as founders have been creating videos and audios and and um, posts that you can read that reach out and help in any of these different areas. So maybe, like for me, I created a video that is, you know, because I, I struggled horribly with suicidal depression. Um, uh, and when you're in that place, nothing is logical. You might know everything in the world to try and fix yourself, but you have no ability to do it. And so I created about a five-minute video where it's, it's drawing them back to a place of love. It's drawing them back to a place of understanding their worth. And it's connecting them in that powerful way so that in the middle of the night if they're falling apart, they can go to this place of the SOS um, and, and connect with resources to help pull themselves through these dark times instead of just being a victim to them. And so wow. that, that's, that that's, was another that's part of it. Of- that's just huge. <laughs> I don't know. What else to, I, I just I love. I I mean, hear about your journey and and what a way to bring your unique, beautiful gifts to the world and 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 uh, and help other people who are going through what you were going through. Who would just like you said, you just don't know where to turn and 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 it's it's, it's especially being an entrepreneur. It's easy to to just kind of like close down sometimes. So it'd be how oh, wonderful that you're giving that support. So you. Um, you know, if our, our if, I'm sure we're going to have listeners that are going to want to reach out and hear more from you and find out how to uh, they can contact you. Can you share with us your you know your website, your phone number, however you want people to get in touch with you? Yeah. Um, so if you want to reach out to us, uh, you can find out go to uh, www.powerofwhen.com, um, and that is you can sign up there. You get updates on the website and that. If you want to already connect with us and you want to reach out to us right away, um, we are on a Facebook group. You can come and join us. It's called the Women's Empowerment Network. Um, 
You can do a search for it on Facebook, or if you like, you can go to um, type a little bit longer, but it's uh, www.facebook.com forward slash groups, G-R-O-U-P-S forward slash Carla, C-A-R-L-A, Win W Y N N dot E F T. Carla Win is my co-founder. She she started Women's Empowerment Network. That baby was hers long before I come along. Um, but that you can find us on Facebook there too, and come get a feel for us, our community, um, and connect with us there. That is fantastic. I'm sure a lot of people are going to reach out to you. I know I've been a member of the or the social the Facebook page for ooh, several months now, so I, I know some of the work and things that are happening there. And I encourage our listeners to re- reach out to you and, and at least explore your website and your Facebook page. Would you like to be Thank a guest you. with a great project to share? Are you a philanthropist? Drop up us a note at the and that's P-H-I-L-A-N-T-R-E-P-R-E-N-E-U-R, philanthropreneur.com. The 2014 schedule is filling fast, so reach out today. Visit us again at the philanthropreneur.com and send us a note. Well, it's been another great show, Heidi. <laughs> uh, yes, we it bring has. Such fabulous. We want, we want to thank Joanne. Uh, Everyone joining Thank us, you. Uh, mark your calendar and join us every Wednesday at 8 a.m., first and third Wednesday, for the <laughs> Entrepreneur Show. <laughs> <laughs> this is Victoria Boyd and Heidi Anderson saying thank you and thank you for joining us. Thank you for tuning in to the Philanthropreneur Radio Show, hosted by Dr. Victoria Boyd. Get involved. Follow us on Facebook and other social media outlets. If you wish to share comments or suggestions or appear as a guest on our show, visit www.thephilanthropreneur.com. Contact Victoria Boyd. Email her at theboyd at thephilanthropreneur.com. The Philanthropreneur Radio Show is a production of and sponsored by the Philanthropreneur Foundation, a 501c3 tax-deductible organization.